Number 1. An 8-month-old infant is admitted to the hospital due to diarrhea. The nurse caring for the client tells the mother to stay beside the infant while making assessment. Which of the following developmental milestones the infant has reached? Letter A. Has a three-word vocabulary. B. Interacts with other infants. C. Stands alone. D. Recognizes but is fearful of strangers. Number 2. The parent of a 16-year-old boy tells the nurse that his son is driving a motorbike very fast and with one hand. It is making me crazy. What would be the best explanation of the nurse to the behavior of the boy? A. The adolescent might have an unconscious death wish. B. The adolescent feels indestructible. C. The adolescent lacks life experience to realize how dangerous the behavior is. D. The adolescent has found a way to act out hostility toward the parent. Number 3. The 9-year-old client is admitted in the hospital for almost one week and is on bed rest. The child complains of being bored and it seems tiresome to stay on bed and doing nothing. What activity selected by the nurse would the child most likely find stimulating? Letter A. Watching a video. B. Putting together a puzzle. C. Assembling handouts with the nurse for an upcoming staff development meeting. D. Listening to a compact disc. Number 4. A five-year-old boy client is scheduled for hernia surgery. The nurse is preparing to do preoperative teaching with the child. The nurse should knows that the five-year-old would. A. Expect a simple yet logical explanation regarding the surgery. B. Asks many questions regarding the condition and the procedure. C. Worry over the impending surgery. D. Be uninterested in the upcoming surgery. Number 5. An 8-year-old girl is in second grade and the parents decided to enroll her to a new school. While the child is focusing on adjusting to new environment and peers, her grades suffer. The child's father severely punishes the child and forces her daughter to study after school. The father does not allow also her daughter to play with other children. These data indicate to the nurse that this child is deprived of forming which normal phase of development. Letter A. Heterosexual relationships. B. A love relationship with the father. C. A dependency relationship with the father. D. Close relationship with peers. Number 6. A nurse is providing safety instructions to the parents of the 11-month-old child. Which of the following will the nurse includes in the instructions? Letter A. Plugging all electrical outlets in the house. B. Installing a gate at the top and bottom of any stairs in the home. C. Purchasing an infant car seat as soon as possible. D. Begin to teach the child not to place small objects in the mouth. Number 7. Which of the following would be the best diversionary activity for the nurse to select for a two-weeks hospitalized three-year-old girl? A. Crayons and coloring books. B. Doll. C. Xylophone toy. D. Puzzles. Number 8. Which of the following clients is at high risk for developmental problem? A. A toddler with acute glomerulonephritis on antihypertensive and antibiotics. B. A 5-year-old with asthma on chromalin sodium. C. A preschooler with tonsillitis. 
D. A two and a half year old boy with cystic fibrosis. Number 9. A two year old client with cystic fibrosis is confined to bed and is not allowed to go to the playroom. Which of the following is an appropriate toy would the nurse select for the child? Letter if puzzle. B. Musical automobile. C. Arranging stickers in the album. D. Pounding board and hammer. Number 10. A mother who gave birth to her second daughter is so concerned about her two-year-old daughter. She tells the nurse, I am afraid that my two-year-old daughter may not accept her newly born sister. It is appropriate to the nurse to response that, letter A. The older daughter be given more responsibility and assure her that she is a big girl now and doesn't need mommy as much. B. The older daughter not have interaction with the baby at the hospital because she may harm her new sibling. C. The older daughter stay with her grandmother for a few days until the parents and new baby are settled at home. D. The mother spend time alone with her older daughter when the baby is sleeping. Number 11. The nurse has knowledge about the developmental task of the child. In carrying a three-year-old client, the nurse knows that the suited developmental task of this child is to Letter A. Learn to play with other children. B. Able to trust others. C. Express all needs through speaking. D. Explore and manipulate the environment. Number 12. A toddler is brought to the hospital because of severe diarrhea and vomiting. The nurse assigned to the client enters the client's room and finds out that the client is using a soiled blanket brought in from home. The nurse attempts to remove the blanket and replace it with a new and clean blanket. The toddler refuses to give the soiled blanket. The nurse realizes that the best explanation for the toddler's behavior is. Letter A. The toddler did not bond well with the maternal figure. B. The blanket is an important transitional object. C. The toddler is anxious about the hospital experience. D. The toddler is resistive to nursing interventions. Number 13. The nurse is providing health teaching about the breastfeeding and family planning to the client who gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Which of the following statement would alert the nurse that the client needs further teaching? Letter A. I understand that the hormones for breastfeeding may affect and my periods come. B. Breastfeeding causes my womb to tighten and bleed less after birth. C. I may not have periods while I am breastfeeding, so I don't need family planning. D. I can get pregnant as early as one month after my baby was born. Number 14. An eight-year-old client with cystic fibrosis is admitted to the hospital and will undergo a chest physiotherapy treatment. The therapy should be properly coordinated by the nurse with the respiratory therapy department so that treatments occur during Letter A. After meals. B. Between meals. C. After medication. D. Around the child's play schedule. Number 15. The nurse is caring to a 24-month-old child diagnosed with congenital heart defect. The physician prescribed digoxin, lenoxin, to the client. Before the administration of the drug, the nurse checks the apical pulse rate to be 110 beats per minute and regular. Before the administration of the drug, the nurse checks the apical pulse rate to be 110 beats per minute and regular. 
what would be the next nursing action? Letter A. Check the other vital signs and level of consciousness. B. Withhold the digoxin and notify the physician. C. Give the digoxin as prescribed. D. Check the apical and radial simultaneously, and if they are the same, give the digoxin. Number 16. The physician decided to schedule the four-year-old client for repair of left undescended testicle. The injection of a hormone, HCG finds it less successful for treatment. To administer a pentobarbital sodium, Nembutol, suppository preoperatively to this client, in which position should the nurse place him? Letter A. Supine with foot of bed elevated. B. Prone with legs abducted. C. Sitting with foot of bed elevated. D. Side lying with upper leg flexed. Number 17. A nine-year-old boy is admitted to the hospital. The boy is being treated with salicylates for the migratory polyarthritis accompanying the diagnosis of rheumatic fever. Which of the following activities performed by the child would give a best sign that the medication is effective? Letter A. Listening to story of his mother. B. Listening to the music in the radio. C. Playing mini piano. D. Watching movie in the DVD mini player. Number 18. Which of the following is the suited size of the needle would the nurse select to administer the IM injection to a preschool child? Letter A, 18G, 1 and a half inch. B, 25G, 5 over 8 inch. C, 21G, 1 inch. D, 18G, 1 inch. Number 19. The physician prescribed gentamicin, garamicin, to a child who is also receiving chemotherapy. Before administering the drug, the nurse should check the results of the child's. Letter A, CBC and platelet count. B, auditory tests. C, renal function tests. D, abdominal and chest x-rays. Number 20. A 14-day-old infant with a cyanotic heart defects and mild congestive heart failure is brought to the emergency department. During assessment, the nurse checks the apical pulse rate of the infant. The apical pulse rate is 130 beats per minute. Which of the following is the appropriate nursing action? Let TA retake the apical pulse in 15 minutes. B. Retake the apical pulse in 30 minutes. C. Notify the pediatrician immediately. D. Administer the medication as scheduled. Number 21. The nurse is caring to a child client who is receiving tetracycline. The nurse is aware that in taking this medication, it is very important to Letter A. Administer the drug between meals. B. Monitor the child's hearing. C. Give the drug through a straw. D. Keep the child out of the sunlight. Number 22. An 8-year-old boy with asthma is brought to the clinic for checkup. The mother asks the nurse if the treatment given to her son is effective. What would be the appropriate response of the nurse? Letter A. I will review first the child's height on a growth chart to know if the treatment is working. B. I will review first the child's weight on a growth chart to know if the treatment is working. C. I will review first the number of prescriptions refills the child has required over the last six months to give you an accurate answer. 
D. I will review first the number of times the child has seen the pediatrician during the last six months to give you an accurate answer. Twenty-three. The mother brought her child to the clinic for follow-up checkup. The mother tells the nurse that 14 days after starting an oral iron supplement, her child's stools are black. Which of the following is the best nursing response to the mother? Letter A. I will notify the physician, who will probably decrease the dosage slightly. B. This is a normal side effect and means the medication is working. C. You sound quite concerned. Would you like to talk about this further? D. I will need a specimen to check the stool for possible bleeding. 24. The nurse is providing a health teaching to the mother of an 8-year-old child with cystic fibrosis. Which of the following statement if made by the mother would indicate to the nurse the need for further teaching about the medication regimen of the child? Letter A. My child might need an extra capsule if the meal is high in fat. B. I'll give the enzyme capsule before every snack. C. I'll give the enzyme capsule before every meal. D. My child hates to take pills, so I'll mix the capsule into a cup of hot chocolate. 25. The student nurse is assigned to take the vital signs of the clients in the pediatric ward. The student nurse reports to the staff nurse that the parent of a toddler who is two days postoperative after a cleft palate repair has given the toddler a pacifier. What would be the best immediate action of the nurse? Letter A. Notify the pediatrician of this finding. B. Reassure the student that this is an acceptable action on the parent's part. C. Discuss this action with the parents. D. Ask the student nurse to remove the pacifier from the toddler's mouth. <laughs>